Good morning, students. How are you today? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Yes. I'm fine. I'm fine. And you? And you? And you? I'm fine too. Okay, before, before we start the lesson, let's pray together. Pray start. Pray end. Is there anyone absent today? No, miss. Yes. No, no one miss. absent today, miss. Okay, good. Today we will learn about the material that related to personal experience, imaginative, and all about something that happened in the past. Can you imagine what we will learn today? I can imagine, Miss. Yes, Cynthia. I think about is Okay, good, Cynthia. Okay, now we will learn about the context. Who still remember about the material last week? Uh, I think simple past tense, Miss. All right. Simple past tense is related to this material now. Okay, now I will share the PowerPoint. Wait a minute. Can you see the PowerPoint? Yes, yes, miss. Yes, miss. Okay, good. Now I will explain explain about the context. The context is a text which tell about something that happened in the past and telling about one story, action, or activity. And in the context, using a simple past tense. And the second is about generic structure of recount text. There are three generic structure of recount text. First is orientation. It is about introduction, the participant, place, and time. It tells who was involved, what happened, where the events took place, and when it happened. Usually orientation is in the first paragraph. And the second is events, describing series of events that happened in the past, telling what happened and in what sequence. Usually uh, events in second paragraph. And the last is reorientation. It is optional. It consists of closure of events or ending. It is stating personal comment of their way, writer to the story. There are three types of recounts. First is personal recount. That, that is tells about the personal experience of write, the writer. And the second is factual recount. Recount text that serves to present report of events that actually occur such as a science experiment report or police reports. And the third is about imaginative. To present an imaginative story, then write down the events or events that haven't occurred. And this is example of recount text. Who want to help me to read this text? I miss. I miss. I miss. Okay. Uh, the first paragraph read by Ayu Krishna and second paragraph read by Asli Swandesi and the last is Liana. Okay. 
Let's start. Okay, a beautiful day at Gianyar. Last week, my friends and I went to Gianyar. We visit many many places. First, we visit Masjeti Beach. The sun shone brightly and the scenery was very beautiful there. We felt the wind blew across to us. We also saw a lot of people in that beach. There were many birds flew in the sky. Second, we visited zoo. We saw many kinds of animals trees such as monkeys, tigers, crocodiles, birds, etc. We look around in that zoo and also took pictures of those animals. Then we felt hungry, so we went to a restaurant. As soon as soon as we finished our lunch, we decided to go home. For me, that was a beautiful day, though I could not visit Ubud. We really enjoy it, and I hope I could visit Gianyar again. Okay, thank you. Are you Krishna, Ashley, and Liana? Now, who want to help me translate the first paragraph? I am Miss. Yes, Asri, please. Minggu lalu, uh, saya dan teman-teman pergi ke Gianyar. Kami uh, mengunjungi banyak tempat. Pertama, kami mengunjungi Pantai Mas Ceti. Uh, mohon maaf, Miss. Uh, saya tidak mengetahui arti dari uh, the, the sun shine brightly. Apa artinya, Miss? Oke, okay, very good, Asri. The sun shine brightly, uh, the meaning in bahasa, itu artinya matahari bersinar dengan cerah atau terang. Jadi the sun itu matahari, shine itu bersinar, dan brightly itu terang atau cerah. Oke. Okay. Baik, Miss. Terima kasih. Yes, Asri. Is there words or sentence that are not understand anymore? No, no miss. No miss. Okay, good. Now I will give you a question. What is the types of the text? Factual, imaginative, or personal experience? Who one can answer? I want to answer, miss. Yes, Liana, please. Uh, the type of text is personal experience. Okay, Liana, very good. This is an example of personal experience. Okay, the second sense, the second question is, can you find orientation, events, and reorientation in this text? Who, who one can answer? Yes, miss. Yes, yes miss, I, I want to answer. Uh, in my opinion, the first paragraph is orientations, and then the second paragraph is uh, events, and then the last paragraph is reorientation. Okay, very good, Ayu Krishna. And the next question is, what is the text about? I'm can answer, Miss. Yes, Cynthia, please. I think about outdoors experience when holiday in Gianyar and then she visit zoo and Masjeti Beach, but she could not visit to wood. Okay, very good, Cynthia. Thank you. And the last question is, do you have a bad or memorable experience? Can you share your experience? 
Anyone can share? I have means. Yes, Liana, please. I have means. Yes, Liana, please. Uh, I have experience uh, when I was uh, elementary school. Uh, I won a poet a poetry a competi a reading competitions. Uh, I'm very happy, Miss. Very good, Liana. So good experience. Now I will give you exercise. Fill in the blank. Wait a minute. Can you see the slide? Yes, Miss. Okay. Yes, Miss. Who want to answer number one? I'm Miss. Yes, Cynthia, please. We blah 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 to the beat two weeks ago. The answer is when. Okay, very good, Cynthia. Okay, the question number two. Who want to answer? I'm Miss. Yes, Ina, please. I blah 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 an eleven last night. Uh, the answer is Drew. Okay, the last question. Who want to answer? I am Miss. Yes, Ashri, please. My family blah 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 Bali last year. The answer is visited. Okay, good, Asri. In this sentence, all is about simple past tense. Okay, because all the questions have been answered. Now I will, I want to make a summary. I want to you make a summary about what we have learned today. I give you two minutes to make or think about what we have learned today. Okay, because time is up, I will choose Liana to tell what we have learned today. Liana, can you explain? All right, Miss. Uh, today we we learn about a uh, context and generic structure of context, like a generic structure like orientations, reorientation, events, and also learn about the types of uh, context and analyze example of context. I think that's all, Miss. Okay, very good, Liana. Uh, because time is up, before we end the class, is there anything to ask about the context? No, miss. No, miss. No, miss. Okay, good. Based on exercise and the text before, I think all of you understand about the material today. Okay, student, because no answer, I would like to conclude about today's material. We already uh, learned about the definition of recontext, generic structure, and example of recontext. Thank you for your participants. And we close the, this today's class with prayer. Pray start. Pray in. Okay, thank you, my student, and see you next week. Have a nice day. Okay, thank you, Miss. Thank you. Thank you.